Now let's say I'm currently outsourcing, but I am one of those companies, I'm, I'm struggling with it. I'm, I'm not getting what I want out of it. What are some questions that I should be asking myself or my vendor partner to see how we can make this more successful versus I, I'm one of those first knee jerk reactions. I like to control it. I'm just taking it back. Give it back to me. I'll do it. Uh, the, the, the best suggestion I can provide you there is to get some independent viewpoint as opposed to simply taking it back. Uh, the issues are not always with the vendor. What? I just want that to might be my fault? It could be. <laughs> I might be the issue? There's no way. Possibly you may not, but that's why I'm saying get some third party independent involved in taking an objective look at what it is that's happening there. It could be processes, it could be the wrong vendor, who knows? There are probably several reasons why something isn't working out or internally you went out to do something 10 years, let's say three years ago and things have changed now. Okay, all of those things are possibilities. So I would say get some independent assessment of the whole operation and they should take it, whoever does it should take a look at it from both sides, both from your company's point of view and the vendor's point of view, study the processes. It is not a study, study kind of stuff, but you should take an independent look at the whole thing. And then if it still feels like, okay, this is not working, then you, you should go with what is best for you. I love it. Wait. One of my, my favorite CEOs did that recently. Um, it wasn't quite working and he was managing the relationship. So he brought in a couple members of his team who had been doing it prior to the outsourcing and even someone on his team and said, why don't you go in, take a look, assess and let them assess it as well as brought in an expert advisor to help oversee those managers and completely got out of it, turned over the relationship. Um, and he said, he's never been happier and everyone involved has never been happier, happier not having him be the one with the oversight.